Hi, my name is Dr. Lisa Bannist and I'm a dermatologist in Los Angeles, California. Today I'm going to go over with you how we remove facial moles. Facial moles are pretty common and in fact they're ref referred to as beauty moles, but in some instances people don't like them and would like to have them removed. We have Nora here today and she was interested in removing some of her facial moles and that's what we're going to show to you. The materials I'll be using to remove Nora's facial moles today include a local anesthetic, a gauze, a blade, a solution containing iron to stop the bleeding, as well as a cauterizing machine called a hyfricator. The first thing I'm going to do is do a sketch for her on what the mole is and how the procedure goes. So Nora, basically the mole is a little bump on the skin and the bump contains clusters of mole cells. The mole cells do go beneath the surface of the skin, but for aesthetic purposes, what we like to do is just remove the bump so it's flush with the skin and you don't have any kind of indentation in the mole. Our next step will be to numb up the moles. We're going to use some local anesthetic for this one. First I'm going to clean it with a little rubbing alcohol. Now we're going to actually numb the moles. We use a syringe with local anesthetic. It's actually pretty painless to do this procedure. So you feel a little poke. The local anesthetic actually works quite quickly and we're ready to do our next step of the procedure which is removing the mole. What we like to do um, is basically sculpt the mole to um, go with the natural contour of the face so it doesn't look like there's any, any sort of indentation and ultimately this will give a very nice cosmetic result. The next thing I'm going to do is put a solution that can stop the bleeding for us. Okay, that completes the first step of removing the mole. The next step is to smooth out the edges so the contour is even. And finally, what I'm going to do is use something called cautery or a hyfricator to get any remainder of uneven edge nice and soft. Now you'll notice that the mold looks a little bit darker and that's from the solution we use to stop the bleeding as well as the cautery. This will resolve in about a week after it goes through its healing process. The care for these moles is rather simple. You can shower, you can uh, get your face wet. Uh, we like for you to put a little bit of an ointment on there. It could be, could be an antibiotic ointment such as polysporin, it could be neosporin or even Vaseline. Some people prefer to use more natural options such as uh, tea tree oil or lavender oil or even aloe vera. Uh, once a day is fine. You do not have to have band-aids on these. And this will take about a week to a week and a half for it to fully heal uh, to the point where there's no longer a scab on the area. After that, it takes a month or so to really smoothen and blend in with your skin in terms of the color. Okay. I'm Dr. Lisa Bennist, and this is how we remove facial moles. Thank you very much for watching.